As part of the GRDC grain storage extension team, Ben, we often get asked, what's the cheapest form of storage? And it's an important question when you're working out where you're going to store grain on farm. Unfortunately, sometimes the cheapest form of storage isn't always the one that's best suited to, to the operation on farm. And, and in, in some cases, uh, the most expensive form of storage is in fact the one that doesn't work. So we've got to make the selection pretty carefully. So imagine it's about um, matching um, what grain you're trying to store, how long you're going to store it, um, and what resources you've got available on farm, whether it's high capital outlay or, or whether you've actually got access to labour for the, those more temporary types of storages. So do you want to run through the, the pros and cons of different types of storage? Sure. So let's start with silos because they're probably one of the most common forms of storage. We've got two different types. We've obviously got your large flat bottom storages, which are most suited to bulk commodities, a grain that probably is going to be stored for a period of time. Uh, there's no segregation in terms of, of grades, so you know, it, it's typically a larger storage and, and a, a commodity that's handled in bulk. Not something you'd normally handle high value uh, damage prone pulses, for example, in. Um, the other option is the elevated cone based silos. Uh, they're there for, uh, I guess, um, commodities that might be turned over more frequently, they're easier to clean out uh, and, and probably easier to manage. Yeah, good point Ben. So your, your silos are probably a lower labour requirement and also give you the benefit of being able to fumigate um, fairly easily provided they are gas type suitable silos. Compared that to sheds? Well that's right, you know, the, the silos that meet an Australian standard AS2628 for gas tight um, sealing uh, are great. Sheds are very difficult to seal, uh, but they're fantastic for temporary storage and I think you know, they're really a great option for harvest logistics. For example, we were trying to manage high moisture grain. So a little less capital uh, cost for a shed, but a, a bit more, more um, labour to, to manage them. Compare that to the really short term storage like your bags and bunkers? Yeah, bags and bunkers, again, a good logistics uh, option. Uh, the longer you store grain in, in bags for, uh, you know, the more management is required. Certainly preparation for, for bags, for example, is really important to get right. Yeah. So uh, th those short term storages really suited to high volume grain, lower value grain um, and, and really short term um, sort of applications. What about pits? Uh, look, pits are uh, an option that uh, don't get used terribly often, but you know they are a potential uh, solution for people where you've got a, a lot of volume of grain, you need to store it for a longer period of time. They do require a, a fair bit of planning and, and certainly some infrastructure requirements in terms of excavation, etc. And, and getting that right can be you know, pretty important for the success of a pit uh, type storage. So rather than just look at the pure economics of what's the cheapest form of storage, it's about matching uh, why you're storing the grain, what type of grain you're storing, how long for, um, and, and what resources uh, your farming operations got. And for more information? Uh, go to the uh, Stored Grain website, uh, storedgrain.com.au. There's a plethora of information there. Or if people want to give us a call, you can contact the uh, Grain Storage Extension Team on 1800 933 845.